Welcome to my Fanic Robo Guide Tutorial Channel. Today, I like to share the usage of the skip condition programming instruction. Create the work cell with R2000 IC 165F and then follow the setup of the system. Hide the default floor and use obstacle box to set up as floor. Skip condition instruction is useful to let robot search the part height automatically. It help a lot in the stacked item pick and place application. Some application like layer sheets pick up or multi-layer work pieces. Robot will monitor the signal assigned at the instruction and stop the current motion if the signal meet the statement. Make a fixture using box and place it in front of robot. Now, add on the pointer tool from Robot Guide Cadlibury and then set the tool frame at Util tab. Change the W value to 180 degree to make the Z direction point to flange. After complete the setup, open the teach pendant. Click the I.O. button at the bottom of the teach pendant and then use type button to choose digital input output screen. Change the screen to input screen and then rename DI1 to sensor. In real world we can set it at robot input or analog input. Now, go to select screen and then create a program. Insert some lines to easy the instruction input. Please remember to declare the user tool and user frame number to use in this program in the most top of program. Move robot to the top of the full stacked work pieces and then record the position as start search position. Drag the Z axis to the most bottom position of the work piece robot could find. And then record this position as the search end position. Change the speed for this motion instruction to lower speed. If the searching speed too fast, the time lag for sensor to feedback robot might cause the robot to overshoot the actual stop position and crash to the part. Name the positions we create to better understand our program. Move the robot back to search start position. After that, locate the cursor at a line before the search end position, 
Use instruction button to input skip instruction. There are two kind of skip instruction. First one, it directly skip the motion and then continue next line. For the second, skip the current motion and record the current position to assigned position register when meet the declared statement. For today, choose the first skip instruction option. Select first option from the list. Set the signal to monitor as DI number one and the condition to on. Now, move cursor to the end of the search end motion instruction. Click the choice button and input the skip label instruction. Assign a label number to this instruction. Program will jump to this label when robot reach the position of search end motion but monitored signal not meet the statement. Input the end of program after the search end motion and make a label for program to jump when not found error. Input message instruction to notify user for the empty stack. In Robot Guide world, we have to simulate the signal to check with skip instruction functionality. Open Tool tab from menu bar and select I.O. Panel Utilities. Then, assign DI1 to the panel. Now, we forward the program and manually trigger the DI. The override was too fast, use override instruction to change the override speed. Now, we try out the program without trigger the DI1. When the robot reach at the search end position, the notification prompt. We need to add some reaction for the program after the statement is true. Add in the grip or action like turn on the vacuum and current position retrieve. Put in some wait time to break the program read in advance from the system to record more accurate stop position after the signal trigger. Using register instruction to get the current position to position register. I would like to move robot downward for 15 millimeters from the found position. So, I make position register with Z minus 15 millimeters offset.
Now, make in motion instruction and change the point to position register and then following with add on the tool offset PR2. We need robot to retract to the search position if the it done the job or happen error after part not detect. So, add motion instruction with point 1 to both ending of program. The robot have done the motion after signal trigger, but normally, we need some time to let the vacuum reach vacuum pressure then only continue pick up the work pieces. So, add a wait time instruction before retract to start search position. Now, we have done the simple programming for robot to search work pieces high using skip condition. Please apply carefully with actual robot. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.